Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video and this is going to be for a typical filming day. So this is the makeup that I decided to go with. It's pretty simple and I use some products that I'm actually trying to finish up if you haven't seen my no makeup buy video. I'll link that in the down bar. So the very first thing I'm going to do is prime my face and I'm just going to be using the Smashbox of Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and this is just a little sample that I just recently got so I've been testing it out. And it actually reminds me of the Benefit Professional, which I was obsessed with back in the day. So, so far I really like it. And then moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in the shade 105, which is probably the lightest shade because I'm ridiculously pale. And I'm still testing out this foundation. I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet, but I think it turned out okay. So like usual, I'm just dabbing the foundation all over my face and then blending it in with a brush. So the brush that I'm using is the Sigma brush. I'm not sure which brush it is, but I think it's the Flat Top Kabuki. And this brush is really, really good. I love it for my foundation. So I'm just going to blend that in. You guys saw this one coming already, but I'm going to be concealing my under eye circles with the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. And like I always say, this stuff is amazing. It's hardcore, it's heavy duty. If you need something really good to cover your very dark under eye circles, I totally recommend checking this stuff out. I mention this in probably every single video, but it's just that good. It's so good, you guys. And then to set my under eye concealer in place, I'm just taking a loose powder and I'm gonna be using the Tarte Smooth Operator Loose Powder. And this is just a little sample. I'm trying to use this stuff up, so I'm just taking a little blending brush and just lightly dusting that on my under eye area. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder, which I love. This is one of my favorite drugstore powders. It's really, really good, and it really is very helpful in keeping your face matte all throughout the day. And then for bronzer, I'm just gonna be using the Smashbox Bronzer, and this is another product that I featured in my No Makeup By Project Pan video. So I'm doing very, very well, you guys, at finishing these so far. So I'm just taking a powder kind of brush and just kind of putting that in a 3E e motion. And then I'm taking a Bare Minerals blush and this is actually another sample that I got and I was very, very scared to use this because it's like a loose powder. So this was ridiculously messy but it's a really pretty color so I just put that on my cheeks. And then for a highlight, I just use the NYX Illuminator and mine cracked, so that's really upsetting. But this is a really, really pretty color, so I just dusted that on my cheekbones to give a really nice glow to my skin. And then moving on to the eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I always jump between the Dip Brow and the Brow Wiz. It kind of just depends on my mood that day, I guess. But this stuff is really good, so I just like to use a really nice thin eyeliner pencil and just lightly fill in my eyebrows. And then for the eyes, I'm going to be starting with the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly, which I've been using literally every single day for the past few days for my eyeshadow looks. So I'm just using a eyeshadow brush just to pack that onto my eyelids. And this is amazing for getting rid of any like veining or discoloration on your eyelids before adding any eyeshadow. And it makes your eyeshadow last all day, which is awesome. And then for eyeshadow, I'm using the Too Faced Joy to the Girls palette and I'm taking cookie dough. And this is just a light brown color and I'm putting that in my crease. And again, I'm trying to finish this palette up. So far, so good. I've been using it every single day, so I'm really proud of myself for that. So I'm just lightly dusting that into my crease. And then the next color I'm taking is Mulberry, and it's kind of a purpley brown. It's a really, really pretty color. And I'm just putting that on the outer part of my crease, and then I'll just blend everything together. And then for my lid, I've been taking the color Cheers, which I'm not really sure how to describe this color, but it's super shimmery. It's kind of almost brownish, but it's super, super pretty. I've been loving this on my lids. It gives a really nice color, and it just brightens up my eyes, which is really good for the morning time. And then for my brow bone, I use the color Snow Angel, which is just your basic white color. And then for mascara, I'm using the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara, so shout out to Tori for sending me this. I've been obsessed with it lately. So I'm just putting a couple coats of this on my top and bottom eyelashes. Finally for the lips, this has been one of my favorite lip combos lately. So the first thing I'm using is the NYX Lip Liner in the color Pinky Beige. And I'm just kind of lightly tracing out my lips and filling them in just to have a nice base on my lips and so the lipstick lasts a little bit longer. 
And then for lipstick, I'm using the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the color Melted Peony. And this is just a really pretty color. I love this combo together. It looks so natural and really pretty. And that's it. That's the basic look for a filming day. And I've also been wearing this look pretty much every single day to school. It's really simple and quick to do, but it looks really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my previous video and check out any links in the down bar. I love you guys very much. Have an amazing day.